Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 3, Burning Dog fans. We're here entering the excavation site, which will surely be full of love and happiness. Yay! Oh, Jesus! You know, in retrospect, maybe the flamethrower wasn't such a good idea in this cramped corridor. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's not good. Is that our friend that's been chasing us for a while? I sure hope so, but I think it's one of his buddies. It's always good to learn there's more than one. Yeah. Children of all. Oh, good. Oh. The marker has a plan. This guy. When the time comes, you will be But for that to happen, Isaac Clark must. Die. The future of our religion, of our very race, depends upon it. Stop him at any cost. Orphan, be praised. I now, really dislike that guy. Now, I don't mean to be blunt, but they didn't mention me at all. Oh, good. So, so I should be fine. Yes, I'm sure they'll just let John Carver go. Well, why not? Oh. This is the only way he's gonna come. Be ready. Oh. Ah, shit. I think I just hit shot somebody with my uh blaster gun. If I had a guess, I'd say they didn't enjoy that. They never do the Unitologists never do enjoy their meetings with Isaac. That's what makes him so charming. Closed casket funerals for everybody. Ha! Huh, funerals. Oh, right. They're on a frozen waste planet. Who's gonna bury them? And for that matter, the, the Unitologists don't seem too big on burials to begin with. They like, they like their bodies to be frozen, so I think they'll be fine just where they are. How convenient for them. For us, really. I'd hate to have to give all these bastards last rites. I have a bunch of medium health things. They stack sometimes. Gotta be Ooh, good to get back here. One. Well, five ammo is better than nothing. Okay, this time I'm going to keep an eye on the, uh, vent. Which means, of course, that nothing will be there. That's a good sign. I know they're the bad guys and everything, but, uh... There are just some things you don't like to hear. Uh oh, God. That's not fun. Where did he pull that from? Uh... Burn it! Burn it all! Oh shit! Oh shit! That's where the machine gun comes in here. They're like divider heads. I guess they figured they didn't need the rest of the body. So they went solo. Creepy. Oh look! More fossils. Those things don't even look humanoid. I wonder if these are the aliens they were talking about. So, yeah, if, uh... The, uh they're saying, what the hell is that? Does that mean that, uh... 
they're necromorphs the unitologists aren't, figure, uh, aren't familiar with, like the skyscraper morphs? Uh, speaking of which... Well, that's about the size of the uh, hive mind, and I really don't like that. Huh. I kind of like that it's got the uh, ice hanging down for like 50 meters, but... Yeah, how long do you think that's gonna last? Forever? You're adorable. Oh shit! Those crawling dealies work fast. I still hear gurgling. Oh shit! So I guess the bodies are just uh, immediately becoming necromorphs now. That's awesome. That's just what I wanted to hear. These guys are a ton of stuff. I wonder if they, the soldiers dropped stuff when they died, and then dropped more stuff when we killed the necromorphs. Well, I was going to suggest that they had pockets, so they just had the ability to carry more stuff. <laughs> okay, maybe there's that. Jeez, these uh, scrap metal almost went over the edge. What would I have done? Yeah. Keycard uh, door. Plateau access. You know that's got to be important. Oh man, there's more of them. Shit. So, not hive mind singular, hive minds. Oh, I think man. I spy teeth. Very big teeth. I really don't like that idea. Oh, man. Hey, competing hive minds means a, a window for uh, small people like us to get out. Alright, yeah, what are these fancy doors? Oh, ominous music. What? Look out. Shit! I think he's gonna mutate. Yep. Need a dick. Man, where would we, where would we he be in a real life situation without the background music to tell us that uh, danger was just around the corner? <laughs> I'm this one. That wasn't too bad. Just, uh... Yeah, just... One padded room away. Let me just top off my health. Well, the it looks like a drill. The warehouse should be just ahead. Man, we better find a way to move it. What, you mean we can't just walk through those giant grinding gears? I don't like the look of that thing. It's big and pointy. That's usually bad in this series. Hey, robot. Does that sound like Necromorphs to you, or is that just me? Online. Attention all hands. Obstruction detected. I think it's a giant engine. Carver asking, are you crazy? Let's take a look down here. Okay, bottomless bed. Oh, this is where the drill is supposed to be. Yeah, 
handy that. I don't know if we could just turn it off and walk through. I'm sorry, did you say turn it off? Turn it off? Oh, I just don't I just really don't like the look of that thing. I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, actually, uh there's something I wanted to try for a bit. I actually know what this is, so this won't take as long as it usually does. Sure it won't. I'll just be standing over here entertaining myself. Compact Elite Plasma Repeater with Blowtorch. Yeah, to do it. Alrighty. Plasma Repeater sounds like a blaster out of Star Wars. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Star Wars happened a long, long time ago. Oh, yeah. And it was in a galaxy far, far away, so... Well, I'll get this side. That's not good. Oh! Hey, good call. Again, what the fuck is that? Not promising. Whoa, whoa! Why is it doing that? I shot something inside of it. Operation in There's something in the center of the uh of the mechanism that you have to shoot. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, no, it's just spinning really even more dangerously than before. Oh, there it is, I see it. Oh, God! The time of the hammer is upon you! Oh, jeez! I think I got it. Yeah, that's 50%. Roboteer, stand by. Whoa! What did you do? I don't know. How is abandoned drill an official uh, recording? Oh Jesus! There are pieces everywhere. Jesus, I really thought that was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck this planet. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Ellie. We're headed to the warehouse now. Is everything okay? Oh yeah. Between this planet trying to kill us, your boyfriend hating me, this has been a wonderful trip so what? far. Not usually like this. I don't know why. He... Just let us fight it out, okay? One of us will win eventually. Did you find the experiment? Yes. And? You'll just have to see it. Oh, good. Yeah, so it took a giant drill almost killing them both for them to bond. <laughs> let me see. Okay, that was crazy go nuts. Isn't it always? Oh, 
I like this, all the scratch marks on the ground. Well, they did kind of mess the place up something fierce. Well, no, I mean, like, they, they actually designed scratch marks all over the ground where this thing was. Oh. Huh. I can't grab this, uh, health kit. I see nothing. Maybe it's in my imagination. Just like me. What a boring hallucination. Uh, let's see. Robot wants to go that way and up. This is probably an elevator, so I guess that works. No, no, it's just another airlock thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's nice to see uh, Carver and Isaac on friendly terms for once. But with uh, Ellie saying, uh, you know, oh, Norton's not usually like this, uh, I'm going to say it's probably something to do with the marker. Yeah, that seems like a fair assessment. Or markers, as we keep hearing, there's supposed to be more, this is where they all came from. I wonder why Ellie didn't go crazy in the second game. Uh, Isaac was soaking it up like a sponge? That would probably do it. Oh, I don't trust these guys. Okay, that one's dead. Here you go. Go and play, little robot. Mine still wants to go up, so... I had exactly a thousand uh, transducers the last time I checked. Huh. You know, with Isaac saying, uh, you know, oh, I thought that was the end there. Uh, I mean, can you picture Isaac's whole adventure dealing with all kinds of space zombies, and then it's a, you know, a piece of, uh, you know, a machinery that does him in? <laughs> like a workplace accident. Yeah, yeah, and and, and like uh, Carver said, a drill technically should be, you know, within his uh, job description. So. Um... Something you should be at least vaguely familiar with. Holy shit. Isaac, there you are. We're upstairs on the observation level. What the hell is this thing? It's bad news, that's what it is. Beautiful, isn't it? The scientists called it the Nexus. They thought these bigger specimens acted as conduits for the machine's control signal, broadcasting it to the smaller forms. And that helps us how? Because I think they found the machine by tracking the signal upstream through nerve clusters inside the creature. Oh, wait. We need to get inside that thing? Yes! This is such a wonderful opportunity! Wonderful That's opportunity. one way of putting it. Frozen salt. How do we get in? The scientists used heat exchanges. Let me try to ignite them. Um. Oh. No, the last time somebody good. tried turning things like that. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac. Be careful up there, alright? Yeah, yeah, don't hurt yourself. Oh look, there's a uh, educational diagram here. I'm not sure I like these glowing, pulsing things in the ceiling. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But hey, you were just saying that you uh, that you missed the, the walls of meat. Good. Bench over here. Oh, um, we, uh, totally, like, went blank and picked it up before the, uh, video, but we found a thingy called Hammond's, uh, what was it, Hammond's, uh, upper frame or something? Heavy, heavy frame. Heavy frame. I made this with it. Hammond's rocket launcher. All right. The thing has uh, only space for an upper tool, which means it isn't very useful with a rocket launcher, what with it only having two rounds, but it does this. Nice rocky explosion sound. Oh yeah.
It says it comes with built-in upgrades, but I can't tell any difference. I guess it just means the stats are improved or something. Now, who's this Hammond guy? Is it that from Jurassic Park? <laughs> uh, well, I was thinking the guy from uh, Dead Space 1, but I suppose it could be that guy. Maybe they're related. <laughs> they didn't really look that way. Well, it's uh, several hundred years apart. Who knows? All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. We're going to have to kill that thing once we turn it on, aren't we? Yeah, well, the necromorphs are, by definition, already dead, so... You know... Technically, they sh Oh, look, more of these puzzles. But I can't touch that. Not yet, at least. Well, the timer just went, so... With this glimpse of a future puzzle... I'm Burning Dog Face, this is my imaginary friend John, and we'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Dead Space 3.